Hello Chipmunk and Chipette fans, and welcome to my very first Alvin and the Chipmunks elaboration video. My name is Grandy Tamias, and this video will be about the question of what the Chipmunk and Chipette characters are on a biological level. Now yes, I know this seems like a rather odd question to ask, considering it's in the name of the franchise, and equally odd to overanalyze the existence of anthropomorphic animals in a cartoon meant for children. And while this kind of thing is not limited to only the Alvin and the Chipmunks fandom, some fans have jokingly suggested that the main six characters are either mutants created from normal chipmunks, or that they have some connection to extraterrestrials. And I don't mean to offend anyone who believed one or both of those claims, but in my opinion, those are just so cliche and outlandish and really ruins the fun. Another red flag is that those claims are not based off of any evidence from the cartoons or films. I'm perfectly fine suspending my disbelief, but I wanted to try a what-if scenario that could work around what we know from the various series while explaining in a logical way what Alvin, Simon, Theodore, and the Chibets would be as living organisms. I've had a fascination with natural sciences since a very young age, and just as a thought exercise, wanted to apply here to Alvin and the Chipmunks. I won't be going into their anatomy as that would take too long. Remember, the conclusion of my analysis is only for fun and just a headcanon of mine. You don't have to believe it, and it's unlikely to be true. Although, if you would like to learn a little bit about the science of real chipmunks, as well as some lesser known characters from older Alvin and the Chipmunks media, then let's get started. Before we can ask the question of what they are, we need to look at the broader scope, and maybe find other talking chipmunks besides the two bands in order to determine how widespread their population is. As it turns out, the only series where we do find such characters is in the 80s cartoon. Some of these will have videos of their own dedicated to them in the future of this channel, but for now I'll have to gloss over them for the most part. Going in chronological order, the first time in the 80s series when another chipmunk is shown is in the season 1 episode Uncle Harry. I won't go into detail on the episode itself, but as for the title character, there's nothing established about Harry's origins, and he's basically presented as if he's always been there. The next time we see another talking chipmunk, or just chipmunk in this case because he doesn't talk, is in a later season 1 episode called Alvin and the Chipmunk. In this episode, Alvin swaps places with a wild chipmunk that cannot talk and wears a caveman robe. Obviously the robe was just meant for comedic effect, but it would suggest that this chipmunk was born in the wild, and perhaps they as a species have existed since Paleolithic times. I'll explain more on that later. Then we see the chipmunk's biological mother, Vinny, in the 1985 special, A Chipmunk Reunion. While their father is never seen or mentioned, the presence of their mother means that the chipmunk's family lineage goes back at least one generation. Then in the season 6 episode, Wings Over Siesta Grande, the chipmunks travel to Mexico and encounter an ancient Aztec-style tribe of chipmunks known as the Tui Tui tribe. Much like the wild chipmunk from season 1, the Tui Tui tribe seems to have retained their clothing and culture even into the then modern times, suggesting their society has been around since the time of the real Aztec Empire. Finally, in the 90s holiday specials, the chipmunk's grandfather is seen in The Mystery of the Easter Chipmunk, and dozens of their extended family members visit their house in The Chipmunk Celebration. As for the former, it's not mentioned which side of the family their grandfather is from, so there is a possibility that he could be the father of Vinny. This also pushes the family lineage of Alvin, Simon, and Theodore back to at least two generations before them. As for the latter ones, they seem to come from all sorts of different backgrounds, such as ones that are trendy 90s teen girls, and ones from rural areas similar to Vinny. From the multiple generations of chipmunks to the ancient lifestyles some of them still have, it should be obvious that as far as the 80s series is concerned, anthropomorphic chipmunks as a species have been around longer than the existence of technology to manipulate genetics, so that throws the fan idea of them being mutants out the window. Therefore, they would have to have a natural origin story. But before we get to that, let's try to reaffirm this with a comparison to their real-life counterparts. 
Moving away from the 80s era, let's take a look at the 20th Century Fox films. On the Blu-ray for Alvin and the Chipmunks' The Road Ship, there's a short featurette called Our Furry Planet, which explains what the live-action versions of the Chipmunk Sanchibets are as if it were a wildlife documentary, albeit purposefully made as comedic. In it, they are given the scientific name Neotomius Disastrous, though I doubt this would really be their scientific name in-universe, since they also refer to Dave as Maximus Shoutus instead of Homo sapiens. Like I said, it was just comedic and not meant to be taken seriously. So where am I going with this? Well, while disastrous as a species name probably wouldn't work, the use of the genus name Neotomius in this case is pretty significant, as it is actually the genus name for most species of extant chipmunks. Neotomius, meaning new treasurer in Greek, is found exclusively in North America and lives throughout pretty much all of the continent. From as far up as the subarctic to California, where the Alvin and the Chipmunks characters live, and even as far south as Mexico. It was probably just a coincidence, but that last place might actually explain the existence of the aforementioned Twee Twee tribe. It's possible that whatever genus and species of chipmunk the Seville brothers, Miller sisters, and all other 80s chipmunks are is either descended from Neotomias or a common ancestor they both share. And this is where I get into some speculative evolution and my headcanon. Before I even joined the Alvin and the Chipmunks fandom, or had watched the Our Furry Planet featurette, I had the idea of giving the Chipmunk Sanchibets a scientific name and thought about what their evolution as a species would have been like. Think of it like them having their own Chipmunk version of anthropology, how they would have somehow convergently evolved an upright stance, tool use, and human level intelligence. I decided to give the speculative rodents the scientific name Grandi Tamias Bagdasarianae, the genus name meaning large chipmunk, and the species name being in honor of Ross Bagdasarian Sr., the original creator of Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. And yes, this is where my username comes from, and why my icon is supposed to be a cave painting of a chipmunk face symbol, as a Paleolithic chipmunk probably would have made thousands of years ago. Anyway, sorry if that was a lot of science babble for you guys, even to the point of off-topicness, as even I'll admit. I know it's still outlandish for a kid's show like Alvin and the Chipmunks, let alone real life, but even Janice Carmen has said in a featurette for the Squeakquel that she likes to believe a species of chipmunk that looks like the Chibets could exist. So this hypothesis of mine might not be too far off. Essentially, you could just say that my hypothesis is a technical way of saying, yes, just accept the fact that chipmunks can talk in this universe, it's normal. Feel free to let me know in the comments what you think the chipmunks and chipettes really are. Do you think that they're aliens, mutants, something else, or maybe a similar thing to my idea? You can also leave suggestions for future video topics you would like me to cover, such as debunking a common misconception in the chipmunk fandom, the history of certain characters, or things about the franchise as a whole. Don't forget that you're also welcome to like and subscribe if you want. With all that said, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and thank you for your time in watching it.